you are a free willed being, not just a free willed human being, a free willed being. Nowhere will you ever be that you will be dictated from anybody on how to do something, when to do it, why to do it, where to do it, how long to do it for, without your approval. So even when you feel like you're in a situation where you are being forced into doing something, you are never forced into doing anything. Just like you're never forced into a particular point of view, a particular point of attraction, a particular focal point. What you see is what you're choosing to look at. What you experience is what you're choosing to feel. How you respond, how you react is a choice. How you perceive is a choice. How you interact is a choice. How you eat is a choice. How you sleep is a choice. It's time for the human beings on your planet to stop thinking that everything that they're doing and feeling and experience is a result of somebody else. It's simply not that way. And it never will be. It never has been that way. That is simply a result of allowing others to infuse upon you their own point of view, their own ideas, their own limitations, their own credentials, their own critiques. It's an infusion of somebody else's energy into your own field. And let's just be clear, and energies will forever infuse into each other. But in that infusion, you do have a choice of what you wish to see in your own life as a result of the infusion that may be taking place through somebody else's energy field interacting with your own. It all comes down to awareness, being aware, being aware of how you feel in a situation, how you feel prior to engaging in a situation, how you feel during that engagement, how you feel after that engagement, how you feel when you reflect upon that engagement, how you feel when you think about possibly engaging in that same thing again in the future. There's an epidemic that we like to discuss is on the planet is this epidemic being following the herd. And when, when people decide to follow, there's a shadow that's cast upon them that prevents them from being fully aware of what lies before them, what lies right in front of them, what lies beside them, what lies on top of them. Do you see what we're saying? I do. The key ingredient is awareness. It's having the ability and the want and the urge to look at oneself from a different light, to look at your life from a different perspective, to get out of that shadow and be in front of it, to always be in front of your shadow. That doesn't mean that you're running from your shadow. It means that you are aware that you have a shadow, but you're not hiding in it. And when you, when you hear people on your planet talking about being a victim of this, being a victim of that, this is not us being, being uncompassionate in any way whatsoever, because we understand that life can be very challenging and upsetting and traumatic and, and all of these things. Yet on the other hand, if you choose to live in your shadow, to live in the darkness, how can you ever possibly get out in front of your shadow and move into the light? This is where we bring in the power of empowerment. It's a key element. It's, it's a focal point of becoming in complete control of your life. And when we talk about control, we don't mean control as in maneuvering through life with these very staunch steps that I need to take in order to get here because this is my end destination. And if I stray from this particular road, 
then all hell is going to break loose. No, that's not what we mean. We mean allow your road to flow. Think of your road, humans and, and, and Stephanie included have, have this, this conceptual picture of a road, of a path, and, and that's fine, that, you know, that's okay, but what we're advocating more towards is this winding, meandering, flowing avenue that has arms stretching from it that at any given point you can stray from your current path and follow this new avenue and see where it leads you. If something is steering you in that direction, why fight it? There's a reason why your higher self is asking you to turn in a particular de direction to investigate. Empowerment is what we are encouraging all humans to come back to. Empowerment is the source. Empowerment is that, is that place of, of godness. Empowerment is a word that depicts pure, unconditional self-love. It's a word that we would encourage that you use more frequently in your thoughts, in your vocabulary, in your teachings, in your learning. It really is the epitome of self-love. So in terms of the origins of human history, empowerment was something that was meant to come back to. It was the place to return to. And when you engage in listening to those that you consider teachers on your planet, empowerment is something that they have all mastered. They've come back to their full eternal self through empowerment. It's disempowerment that disables the human being. Disempowerment is a tool used by a person who is choosing to use power instead of self-empowerment. So through the misuse of power, people will begin to allow themselves to become disempowered right. through various forms of control and manipulation and greed. But that's when it's crucial to come back to your knowing that you are a self-empowered being that will be undisturbed by this misused source of power. We don't even actually prefer to use the word power in the sense that we're talking about it right now, but it is part of your vocabulary and it's the word that best depicts what we're trying to explain. Don't you agree? <laughs>